All right. Let's get this mayhem hat built. We need all our parts first. Capacitor. Got our. Female headers. Camera. RF24. And our header pins. So let's. Go with the build. Get some rather flux. Make your life easier. Pop it on the holes. It's important to get this next part flat if you want your mod to sit perfect. Flat. Good. And get our solder set up. We're gonna hit the outsides first. Outside. 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 All right. Straight. Now we're gonna hit all the points, get it in the joint there, heat up the pin on one side, and each get solder right into the joint, push it in slowly, and done. Hit that one. On to the next. The joint and heat up that pin and you shouldn't have any problem just popping it right in there done so flip it same deal get your rosin flux Pop a little bit on the pins there to make your life easy as I said before I broke this one weird one. One extra. Get rid of that. Again, you want it flat. So to make sure it's like not sitting funny. You push it down. You're gonna hit the side just like you did before. Solder. Solder there. Straight. And if you're unsure, you could always heat it up, move it around if you need to, like that. But I didn't need to. This is just showing you. Solder. 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 Side, same deal, solder. Holding it back further than I usually do, just so maybe you could see what I'm doing. Uh, all some of that excess uh, rosin flux. If it heated up, we have the mayhem hat. Both. Sides soldered. We go to the NRF 24 header first. I'll show you why I do all this, or I'll talk through it while I do it. Um, we're going to 
do one point, make sure it's straight in the box how you want it. Uh, again, one point. Heat it up, move it around as you need it. Looked pretty good where I had it, so. I'm gonna solder that into place. Uh, you'd be like, why didn't you use resin flux on this part? Eh. Don't always use it, but it can make your life a lot easier if you're not seasoned at soldering. Not that I'm saying I am seasoned. I am decent, and I enjoy it, and I've practiced a lot, so that's all. So we just threw the capacitor in there. I didn't really explain too much because I think it's straightforward. But again, we want it straight. Just make sure it's in there. Touch that, solder it up. Make sure it's sitting flat. Straight. That other point real quick. I use a little bit of a archaic tool but does the trick for me clips them off good to go put the NRF 24 in there the tester right here and now uh, I haven't really run into any problems with the keyboard jacker not working right out the gate but we'll test it real fast if that's what people are paying for we want to make sure we give them what they're paying for <clears throat> so we go to this oop, I don't like the scanner we're gonna go to the sniffer I think I went to the wrong thing. Sorry about that. Sniffer. Boom. It works. All right. Back to the next part. Oh, yeah. Anyway, all right, next part. I'm gonna flash our ESP2. Is a dead board to do it. Or not a dead board, whatever. A little board, make my life easy. Plug it in, solder, after. You see the next part, uh, the way I do it like this first, it'll sit flat basically when the camera's done. About 41% on the flashing. also go this way too you want it but they were just doing the basic build and we should be done here so I'm gonna pop this guy off Take the uh, female headers, pop them in. Make my life a little easy and quick on this part, so I'm gonna set this up with my rosin flux. I'm gonna pop this in, and you can see when I put it down, it sits pretty. 
pretty solid. So I don't have to worry about too much movement. But I'll always double check just in case. Those corners. Getting my hands in the way on your stuff, so sorry about that. It up again. Like I said, I don't like to put the uh, solder over top of the board a uh, whole bunch. So I'll keep it on the outside here and just kind of solder. Remember what I said, don't be afraid to, if you really want to make sure you got a good connection, just kind of hit these up. Make sure you don't have any blobby solder, as my buddy likes to say. All right, now we're going to hit up the other side. And we're almost done. Pretty uh, quick and easy, huh? Try not to burn your plastic pieces. Get a good angle on your soldering iron. Yeah. So, there we go. I'm gonna put on the camera. All the cameras have a little like, little protective cover on it. I'll leave that on, let you the buyer kind of take that off for the first time and then um, I leave it unattached so it's up to you whether uh, how you want that attached this part you know I use a little bit of Gorilla Glue people use double-sided sticky tape 